Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a January favorites and because I didn't do a December favorites, I have a lot of stuff for you guys today. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on the intro, we are just going to hop right in. We're going to kick it off with skincare because I have quite a few skincare favorites this month and we will start with the way that I have been cleansing my skin. So if you watched two videos ago, my Best of Beauty 2016, I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it already, you will know that I left my beloved fresh soy face cleanser in my hometown because I was there for the holidays. So I had to make do with something else and I've been really wanting to try a new cleanser. So I purchased the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. This is a really awesome slightly gritty, slightly exfoliating cleanser that I have just been loving. Whenever I have a lot of breakouts, my skin gets kind of flaky as those breakouts are drying up and so I need a good exfoliant to kind of brush that dry skin away and this has been really, really helpful. And in conjunction with that, I have been using my new Foreo Luna Mini 2 and I got this a little bit over a month ago and I have just been loving it. I think it is a great alternative to the Clarisonic and you don't have to clean it or charge it as much and you don't have to pay extra for brush heads. So it is really, really great. I'm really enjoying it. I only use it when I'm in the shower for the most part because I do have a weird hairline and so when I use products like this, I always end up getting stuff in my hair and I really don't wash my hair all that often. So sometimes I just cleanse with my hands and make sure I don't get it in my hair. But I have been loving this. I think that my skin has gotten a lot better in the last month or so and I think that this is definitely one of the things that I can thank for it. Actually both of these, I love them together so much. They do a really great light exfoliation of my skin and I just really, really enjoy them. Another hero product for the last month for me has been the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. I got a little set from Ryan's mom for Christmas and I love Kiehl's so this was a perfect little set for me because I love trying new skincare products and this toner has taken the place of my favorite Clarins toner for me. This is a really cool consistency. It's almost like a thick kind of jelly liquid whenever you squirt it out and I normally squirt this on a cotton pad and just scrub around my full face with it. But I've almost used this entire little tiny bottle and so I went out and purchased a full size bottle. So you know you love something if you use up the travel size and can't live without it. So I went and purchased this. I haven't cracked into it yet because I've still got a little bit more of this but I really, really, really like this. It does a really great job of making my skin feel like it's cleansed of any extra makeup or dirt or grime without making my skin feel really tight and dry. So loving this a lot. I would highly recommend checking it out. Next for skincare, and actually I have only been using the toner from Kiehl's and this product in the mornings before I do my makeup and it has made my daily skincare routine a lot easier. But I will normally scrub my face with the Kiehl's toner and then I'll put a few drops of this, which is the Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. And this is really great for scars and wrinkles, but I got this mainly because when I get pimples, my skin takes a long time to heal and I think that this has really been helping with the healing process of everything. So I just squirt a couple of drops of this on my hand and then just rub it all over my face and I've really been loving it. It sits really nicely underneath my makeup, but it doesn't really mess with my makeup throughout the day. And because I wear a foundation that is already skincare, I just feel like my skin is getting a lot of good goodness throughout the day from both that oil and my foundation. So I'm really, really loving that and I would highly recommend it if you have scarring. It was, I think, about $20 at Whole Foods, so it's also relatively affordable good skincare too. I have been loving the Kiehl's Creme de Corps Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. It is just one of the nicest consistencies of body butters I've ever had. It's a very whipped kind of texture and it just smells delicious. I love it so much. And this is a really good body butter for your entire body. I use it both on my arms and my legs. And it just smells super sweet, but not necessarily sickly sweet. It smells more like honey than anything else. 
but I just love it so much. I'm going to have to get a big bottle of it, but this was a limited edition, more affordable jar of it from the Kiel store, but I really, really love this stuff, and I'm going to have to get a bigger canister of it whenever I finish this one up. Next, we're going to have a walk through all of my makeup favorites, and I actually don't have a ton of makeup favorites. First up, I have a new primer in my life. If you guys have been watching for a while, I've been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, or Photo Focus? Photo Finish, I think is what it is, primer for roughly a year and a half now, and I love it, but it is a very slippy primer, and I really wanted something that was going to be hydrating and make my makeup stay for longer, and just wanted to try something new, and I've heard a lot of great things about the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I have been using this for over a month now, and I really, really like it. I think I would definitely repurchase it. It's made with coconut water, and it just makes your skin feel really hydrated all day, and that's what I'm really into right now with the colder months upon us because my skin is kind of freaking out by the shifts between hot and cold weather. So I really love this to keep my skin hydrated throughout the day, and it just does a great job of keeping my makeup in place all day, and I really, really love it. Next, we have an oldie but a goodie, and it is my favorite concealer of all time, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Complete Coverage Weightless Concealer. <laughs> I don't know how or what order that name is supposed to be in, but this is in the shade Fair Neutral. This is my all-time favorite concealer, and I... Spent several months going through the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I would recommend. I thought it was good. I don't think it's as great as all of the beauty gurus online have been pumping it up to be, but I do think that this one is my favorite over the Tarte Shape Tape. It's definitely a lighter consistency and doesn't feel quite as thick, and it still does a great job of coverage, and I just really love this. I think the shade match is also better for me, too. And I wanted to try this again because, like I said, I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape and I really wanted to see which one I preferred still because this was my favorite before. And I think this one is still my favorite. I just love it so much and it's so great to have it back in my collection. Next I have a new blush, which blush has never been really something that I've been all that excited about. But because I love this brand so much, I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time and I'm really really glad I did even though it is very expensive. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush in the shade Love Glow. So the way that these are supposed to work is you take your blush brush, swirl it around the outside and then pop it in the middle for that lighter shade and then swirl it onto your cheeks. And I just love this color. I think it is such a pretty pink and I just find that it lasts really well all day. I still have color on my cheeks at the end of the day and it's just my perfect blush shade. I really like the peachy corally kind of colors and I love this so much. So although the price tag is pretty high, I think it's worth it. I just have not tried a Charlotte Tilbury product that I haven't liked so far. So I, I think I've got a pretty good track record with them. So, so if you love Charlotte Tilbury, the blushes are worth it. And then for my eyes, I did buy a new eyeshadow palette this month, and actually it was in December, so last month, and I have been obsessed. I love it so much, and I actually gave my Too Faced chocolate bar palette to my mom because I found that I wasn't really reaching for it. It is a very warm eyeshadow palette, and I don't really reach for warm eyeshadows all that much. I say that with my warm gold eyeshadow all over my eyes. I know, kind of contradictory, but... I really prefer the cooler, taupey kind of shades, and I just decided after a long time and a lot of consideration to try the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is a beautiful palette with a wonderful shade selection of kind of a mixture of warms and neutrals, and I just love all of the shades in this palette. There is not a single shade that I haven't used yet. And I really, really love the shimmers in this, both Funny Girl and Firecracker. I just think Firecracker is the most unique gold bronzy shade. I just love it so much. And then Funny Girl is a really, really pretty creamy champagne color. And I just love these so, so, so much. So if you are wondering about the hype of the Tartlet in Bloom palette, it is real and it is worth it. I would really recommend checking this out. I have a new lipstick, and if you know me, you can probably already guess where this lipstick is from. It is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the shade Secret Selma. 
Again, I mentioned this in my 2016 Best of Beauty, but I just freaking love Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks. I have not tried one that I haven't liked so far. And this is a beautiful kind of purpley shade. I actually have it on my lips today, but I have a gloss over it, so it is kind of a different color than the lipstick itself. But I just love these lipsticks so much. They are the most comfortable mattes you will ever try. And although the price tag's high, they are so worth the luxurious feel and just staying power of these lipsticks. So would highly recommend. And then last but not least for my makeup favorites, I have a setting spray and this one is from Glossier. It's a soothing face mist. It's a rose water spray and I love setting my makeup with this because this stuff brings the glow. I have not had such dewy skin in my entire life and I'm really, really enjoying that look right now. So I love setting my makeup with this because it kind of makes the makeup melt together on your skin, but it also just gives me this beautiful glow. I love it so freaking much. And this is a way more affordable setting spray than a lot of the ones on the market. So if you are looking for a good one, definitely check out Glossier. Next, and this one is kind of a random beauty favorite, but it is a packet of supplements by Hum, which you may have seen on the Sephora website. They just started carrying these not too long ago. And this was a 14-day pack that I tried out because I've been really curious about them for a long time. And it has four supplements in here, two of each type. One of them is the Daily Cleanse, which is full of herbs and it's just supposed to keep your body cleansed of toxins. And then the second is the OMG, which is an omega. So it's kind of like a fish oil and I just have found that I feel really good whenever I take these. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I just find that my skin looks brighter and clearer and I just feel better about myself when I'm taking these. And I ordered three bottles from Hum a couple of days ago and I'm really excited to try them. I do think that the OMG, the Omega, is kind of pointless to buy through Hum. You could just go buy fish oil at any grocery store and it's probably a lot more affordable. But I really love the Daily Cleanse and I did buy a bigger bottle of it. So I will let you guys know over time how I feel about it. But I'm really excited to try the new ones and I really like this brand. And I also have a discount code down below in the description box. So if you guys would like to save $10 on your first order from Hum, then just check the description box down below and grab my discount code and put it in whenever you go to place your order. Plus you get 25% off whenever you buy three bottles from Hum. And just so you guys know, this is a discount code that everybody gets whenever they place an order. So it's not like I'm working specifically with Hum or I'm sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted you guys to be able to take advantage of the discount. And I also get another discount if you guys use my code. So definitely check down below for that. And now I have a few random favorites and they, let's just start with my two bringer. So this was one of my one of my stocking stuffers from Ryan for Christmas and just so you guys can see how it works, just so you guys know, this is something that is actually made for paint, but what you do is you clip your little metal um, containers of any sort in there and then you ring it and it pushes all of the product to the bottom of the tube. So. This is a great way to use all of the product that you have on hand and it really works best for the metal tube, so like hand creams or toothpaste even. And I just love it so much. It is so much fun to ring tubes. And I've been wanting one of these for a really long time, so I'm loving it. I'm so grateful that he remembered that I wanted one of these and got me one for Christmas. Next I have a couple of book favorites and they were both Christmas presents. I actually normally ask for a lot of books during the Christmas time just because I never buy hardback books anymore. I normally will order either an Audible book or I'll buy a Kindle book and so I try to save the ones that I want physical copies of for holidays because I just love receiving books. I think it's one of the coolest things to get as a Christmas present. So. Two of my favorites from the last month are Brave Enough by Cheryl Strayed. This was a gift from Ryan's sister Alex and it is actually a signed first edition. I thought it was so cool. I was so excited on Christmas when I opened this. But this is basically a book of quotations 
by Cheryl Strayed and every single one of the quotes is relatable and speaks to me in some way. So let's see if I can find one to read to you guys. So one of the quotes that I just opened up to is, inhabit the beauty that lives in your beastly body and strive to see the beauty in all the other beasts. I, th I just think that so much of this is relatable and something that everyone should have, honestly. I think you, if you like quotes and things like that, then you definitely need to pick up this because it is so, so good. I love to read this before bed and it's the kind of book that you can just pick up over and over and over again and no matter what, you're going to find something that speaks to you. So I really, really love this. Thanks, Alex. I love it a lot and I would highly recommend it to all of you guys. And then my next favorite is by one of my favorite YouTubers. I love it whenever YouTubers write books, especially the ones that I really love because it's just a cool way to get to know them better and it's awesome to see that making videos online has progressed to a point where people can put out novels or nonfiction biographies and just people will want to read them. Like those people never would have had the opportunity to do such a thing if it wasn't for YouTube. So I just think it's so cool that everyone is kind of growing to that point. And the book that I got for Christmas is Bloom by Estee Lalonde. She used to be Essie Button on YouTube, but now she's just Estee. But I just love this book. It is so interesting to me to hear her backstory because she does kind of keep a lot of her personal life to herself in her videos. And so it's just a cool way to get to know her better and know her story better. And I just really, really am enjoying it. I am only about a third of the way through it, but I really, really love it. So I would highly recommend checking this out, especially if you watch her videos. It is so good. My last physical favorite, I'm going to have to reach over here and get it is actually something that I put together last night, so it is a new favorite to me, but I'm really, really excited about them, and you will be seeing them in future videos right up here above my headboard. So last year, so 2016, I had a calendar of different cities from Rifle Paper Company, and I just loved the illustrations in the calendar so, so much, and I didn't feel right about throwing the calendar away whenever the year ended. So I had the idea to take some of the pages that were my favorites, cut them out and then add them to a frame. And so yesterday I kind of made that vision come into reality. So here is one of them. This one is London and I just love it so, so much. I found this really cool gold metallic poster board and just cut it out to fit the size of the frame and taped the picture on top of it. And it just looks like something that I bought this way and I love it so much. So I've got four of them that I'm going to put right above my headboard. So you guys will be seeing them in future videos, but I just love them so, so, so much. And I'm really excited that my vision became a reality. And then two more favorites for you. One of them is a movie and I would have mentioned it last month because now I have seen it three times, but it is La La Land. It is amazing. I hope it wins all of the Oscars. I hope Ryan wins. I hope Emma wins. I hope that it wins Best Picture. I just love it so much. It is a one-of-a-kind film and I just can't get enough of it. It's so, so good. And then my last favorite is an album by the Avert Brothers and it is the album True Sadness, which came out last year. I'm a little late to the bandwagon, but I'm kind of late to the bandwagon in general with the Avert Brothers. But they're a really cool rock country type fusion band and they're just so good. I love all of their music so much and would highly recommend listening to them. I'm hoping to maybe see them in concert but they have really expensive concert tickets so I don't know if we're gonna do that but I really really love them. I love that entire album and would highly recommend listening to it. So that's all for my January favorites. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did give it a like down below and Leave a comment what some of your favorites this month have been. I would love to check them out for February. And I hope you guys had a great day. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!